Park Ace Reunidos is a diverse theme park chain. They have a wide variety of parks. Some are large, some are old school, and some are smaller, more kid-oriented. And their parks span multiple continents. After this past year, I have now visited all their theme parks. So in this video, I want to rank all 17 of their theme parks. Okay, that's sort of a lie. I cannot fairly rank Castle Park in Riverside, California. I technically have been to the parking lot, but the park closed early. But based on the smaller ride lineup and lack of theming, I suspect it would have placed in the bottom spot anyway. But I can fairly rank everything else. Number 16. Ida Wild in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. This should be one of the best children's parks in the world. The park is a beautiful setting in the woods, some charming areas, and plenty of rides that can accommodate the whole family. But this park's operations are dreadful. I have encountered multiple major ride closures in each visit, and the rides that are open often have just one car in the course at once, resulting in pitiful throughputs. Multiple rides here can easily get hour waits. If these issues were resolved, the park would move up a few spots. The employees are super friendly, and the ride lineup has a lot of unique things going for it. They have the one-of-a-kind Vacoma Wild Mouse with a forceful layout, a pseudo-dark ride in Daniel Tiger's neighborhood, and a long walkthrough with all sorts of displays in the storybook forest. Number 15. Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This is a beautiful park in the heart of Amish country. It's another kid-oriented park. I think Idlewild is the more diverse and interesting attraction lineup, but the rides here have less downtime and far shorter waits, making the overall experience more enjoyable. This park has two notable family coasters in Merlin's Mayhem and the Kingdom Coaster that are fun for all ages. Then this park has a few fun spinning rides, some smaller water rides, and a boatload of transportation rides to see this park's beauty. Number 14, Attracty Park Slugharen in the Netherlands. This is a small western themed park. The park only has two or three coasters, depending what you count, but one of them is the unique Gerslauer Infinity Coaster in Gold Rush. This coaster is a fun swing launch at the start, and a diverse mix of forces. Then there's a unique dark ride in Wild West Adventure. This has some big environments, and it uses a River Rapids ride system. For traditional water rides, there are a few basic ones. Then this park has a decent flat ride lineup, with the standout being the punchy free fall drop tower. There were two cons at my visit though. One, the employees were not the friendliest. Two, the food was downright awful. Just look at this burger. Look at it. Number 13, Bon Bon Land in Denmark. This may be one of the weirdest theme parks in the world. The park is filled with these colorful and irreverent animals. Some statues and rides could use a repaint, but I still enjoyed this park's wacky visuals. For rides, this park has a few coasters. None are standouts for the ride experience, though. There is the infamous Dog Fart Coaster, a Gerslauer spinner and hand cannon that spins a ton with an off-balanced car, and the prototype Gerslauer Eurofighter and Vild Sfina. This ride is short, but the beyond vertical drop the start has great airtime. Then there are some cool water rides. Van Rotten is a themed flume, and Saleun rides more like a dark ride as you pass these characters. The flats here are fairly limited, but there are two drop towers. Cobra Tarna has an intense drop. Krauterne has a frightening tilt feature towards the end. And there's also the Sven Sfingarm giant frisbee from Zamperla. I would love to see this park get some TLC and a big new coaster in the future so it could move up this list. Number 12. Adventureland in Altoona, Iowa. I admittedly need to revisit this park because they've had multiple coasters and a flume since I was last there. During my visit, the one standout ride was Monster. This Gerslauer Infinity Coaster has an epic beyond vertical drop at the start, and a dynamic layout with all sorts of ways to get you out of your seat. But the coaster lineup thins out mightily after that. The remaining ones are just okay. The flat rides are solid between the mix of spinning rides and a few tall towers like Space Shot and the Storm Chaser Swing Ride. And I also like this park's charm, as the entry area is very clearly inspired by Disney. 
this park is a better ride lineup than the two parks ahead of it, but I give those parks the edge because of their theming. Number 11, Belantis in Germany. This park does some things very well. The themed areas look grand, and their headlining attractions are quite good as well. I love Fluke des Ferho. This is a unique water ride in a pyramid combining elements of a log flume, river rapids ride, water slide, and dark ride in a one cool experience. Huracan is a Gerslauer Eurofighter with an exciting layout. Just make sure to ride in the front row for the most tolerable experience. Drakenrid is a delightful Gerslauer bobsled traveling through a castle and then over the water. And Gotterflug is a Gerslauer sky roller that's exceedingly easy to flip given its location on a hill. Now for the negatives. The attraction lineup is relatively limited in terms of quantity. Parts of the park feel empty or unfinished. Then the park has some weird music choices, which did not complement the great visuals of each area. If this park improved in these areas, it would rocket up this list. Number 10. Storyland in Glen, New Hampshire. This is one of the best children's parks in the world. This park has colorful lands, enchanting musical scores, and super friendly employees. It's a wonderland for kids. The atmosphere is truly top notch. It is a delight walking through each area and taking in all the details. And for kids, there are all sorts of play areas along the way as well. Then the rides here are designed to accommodate kids and adults alike. Rorosaurus is the standout roller coaster. This gravity group wood coaster is tiny, but it surprisingly offers nearly a dozen pops of ejector airtime. I love this park's water rides as well. Dr. Geyser's remarkable raft rides a unique river rapids ride using a series of themed sprayers and geysers to get you wet. And Bamboo Shoots is an adorable log flume in a hill. Then there are all sorts of transportation rides. The flat rides are quite limited though. Number 9. Bobby on Land in Belgium. This is a solid park in many areas. The coaster lineup is decent. Fury is a unique Gerslauer Infinity Coast with a short, but exciting layout, and you can vote whether to experience it forwards or backwards. Typhoon is an early Gerslauer Eurofighter with a nice drop at the start, and four good inversions. The coaster lineup drops off after that though. This park is an excellent set of water rides. There's an interesting River Rapids ride, an outdoor log flume, and an indoor log flume with great theming. And there is one of the most politically incorrect dark rides in the world in El Paso Special. The flat ride lineup at this park is fairly limited, but the other ride types make up for it. The park is a solid atmosphere with the snippets of theming and the lake in the center. I just wish their operations were better. Many rides here have low capacities, and several rides will close early. Number 8. Lake Compounds in Bristol, Connecticut. This is America's oldest amusement park, and it has an absolute charm to it. Employees are friendly. Rides are well presented, and I love the park's natural beauty. There's a lake off to the side, and a mountain on the back edge of the park. Their best ride actually runs along that mountain, and that is none other than Boulder Dash. This CCI wood coaster is epic and jam-packed with airtime. The only other really good coaster here is Phobia Fear Coaster, a premier ride Skyrocket 2 with multiple launches, and an exciting sequence atop the tower. But this park has some good non-coasters at least. There's a fun shooting dark ride and ghost hunt, some thrilling flat rides, and two solid water rides, including Thunder Rapids. The operations here are not the best though between some ride closures and low capacity headlining attractions. Number 7. Parque de Atracciones de Madrid in Spain. This is one of two parks this company has in Spain's capital city. This is the older of the two. The park is beautiful with nice landscaping. Then the ride lineup is enjoyable as well. There are some unique coasters here. There's the only Mauer extended Skyloop in Abismo, and this ride is very intense. Tornado is a rare Intamin inverted coaster with three snappy inversions. Tarantula is a Mauer spinning coaster in a hillside with some oddly large drops for the genre. The flat ride lineup here is decent as well. The two tallest ones offer great views. There's a Starflyer, and also the punchy Lanzadera Drop Tower. 
This park has some nice water rides too for those hot summer days. There is also a knockoff jungle cruise named Jungla, and a year-round haunt themed to the Walking Dead. The operations here are frustrating though. If you go on a quiet day, the minimum rider requirements on the headlining coasters make it so you cannot ride them. If you go on a busy day, the low capacities of the big coasters result in long lines. Number 6. Movie Park Germany in Germany This is one of the better themed parks in the chain. There are a handful of immersive attractions, most notably two of their water rides. Excalibur is a River Rapids ride that's light on the water effects, but it features large set pieces. Then Area 51 is a lengthy dark ride with two drops for some thrills. There also are some highly themed coasters. Van Helsing's Factory is an indoor Gerslauer bobsled with great monster theming and some wicked laterals. Movie Park Studio Tour is a unique Intamin launch coaster with some screens and physical props. Then Star Trek Operation Enterprise is an amazing queue line before going outdoors for an action-packed layout. This is the park's best coaster. It is good, but it's not as good as the headliners of the parks higher on this list. In this park also some truly awful coasters like Bandit and Iron Claw that can cause major discomfort. The flat ride line up here doesn't have too much for adults, but the high fall drop tower is an absolute rush. But like a few other parks in this list, the operations are not the best between frequent one train operations and weird ride hours. Number 5. Tusenfried in Norway This park is a neat setting on a hill and the backdrop is gorgeous between the woods and mountains. Then the ride lineup is well rounded. There are a trio of nice coasters. Storm is an intense launched inverted coaster from Gerslauer. It is shaky, but the dive loops are fun, and the bunny hill is very strong ejector airtime. Speed Monster is not the most intense Intamin launch coaster, but it has a unique Norwegian loop element and some fun airtime moments. Thunder Coaster is a rare Vacoma wood coaster with good airtime, but you need to endure some rough turns at the start. For water rides, the park is a neat River Rapids ride in Ragnarok, a small water coaster in Super Splash, and a classic log flume. For flat rides, the park has a nice mix including a large Zamperla Frisbee with sweet airtime. And there's a Thor themed dark ride literally inside of an actual cave. Operations here are just okay but that is better than the past few parks in this list. Number 4. Mirabilandia in Italy This park is dominated by its top two. There are two excellent coasters here, and that is why this park made the top four. iSpeed is an Intamin launch coaster that feels like a greatest hits compilation between the airtime, transitions, and inversions. Katoon is a large B&M invert with forceful and snappy inversions. There's a large drop-off after that though. This park is a handful of water rides, which is good considering this hot climate. There's an intriguing dark ride and reset. The physical sets were impressive, but the lack of audio and broken targets hurt the overall ride. Then the flat rides here are passable. I thought the park's overall presentation was solid, just not as good as the parks around it on this list. Number 3. Motiongate Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. This is the chain's best themed park. This movie themed park has some nicely themed lands. The most notable is the giant DreamWorks indoor area. This is a bunch of mini lands themed to different properties. There are all sorts of details, and the rides fit each area nicely. Then the ride lineup is good overall. There are several dark rides here, all of which are at minimum good, and some are great. Many are trackless as a bonus. The coaster lineup is solid too. There are two good launch coasters in Capital Bullet Train and Madagascar Mad Pursuit, plus some fun supporting coasters. If this park got a truly world-class coaster, it could jump even higher. The flat rides here are limited, but there is a cool Zombieland themed drop tower. I missed the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs River Rapids ride in my visit because it was down for a refurb, but I've heard good things about that ride as well. This park usually has light crowds, making it easy to do everything in a day. Number 2. Parque Warner Madrid in Spain This park was once owned by Six Flags. It still feels sort of like one of their parks because you have the familiar Looney Tunes and DC Comics IPs, 
but the theming is a step above. This applies to both the midways and a few nicely themed rides. The ride lineup here is good too. It starts with a coaster lineup. Batman Gotham City Escape is one of the world's best coasters. This Intamin multi-launch coaster is a beautiful blend of strong airtime and hang time filled inversions. Then this park also has two forceful B&M loopers. One of them is the best floorless in the world in Superman. The other is a familiar Batman the Ride clone in Shadows of Arkham. Then there's the ultra intense Vacoma giant inverted boomerang and stuntfall. This park also has two excellent water rides. Rio Bravo is a large and well themed log flume. Then Rapido's Acme is a soaking river rapids ride with Looney Tunes themed sprayers. This park also has some fun dark rides and a few solid flats to round out the ride offerings. Then they have two can't miss shows. By day, there's the Police Academy Car Stunt Show. By night, there's the Aquaman Nighttime Spectacular with dancing acrobatics over the water. The biggest con with this park is the operations. Many rides have slow dispatches and or run with limited trains. And coming in at number one is Kennywood in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. This is a really unique park blending old and new. This park has all sorts of historic rides, several of which are now one of a kind but they also add modern thrillers to keep up with the times. This park is the best coaster lineup in the chain. Phantom's Revenge is an incredible hyper coaster. It uses the terrain beautifully, and it has some wild airtime. Steel Curtain has the most inversions of any coaster in the United States, and it has a dynamic layout. Sky Rocket is a premier ride's launch coaster with a great start. Then this park is a trio of very well maintained wood coasters that all put a smile on my face. Complementing this are multiple good dark rides, a refreshing water ride in Raging Rapids, and a deep flat ride lineup. There are modern pendulums chock full of airtime like Black Widow or Swing Shot. Then there are feisty classics like Kangaroo or Turtle. For food, the potato patch fries are excellent. I also love this park's classic atmosphere, and I personally find the operations good. Crews work quickly to dispatch trains. The only cons are that some rides can be on one train, and Steel Curtain is notoriously unreliable. So that's how I rank all the theme parks in the Park Ace Reunidos chain. What is your favorite park in the chain, or thoughts on any of the ones I mentioned? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.